got shad. So here's what we're looking for today. We've got a creek mouth over here with a slightly tapering brake line all the way up, okay? And then on these waypoints I've marked right here, they're like submerged stumps and just random junk. Yeah, you can see them right here. Lots of submerged little trees and stumps all over the place right here. So they didn't clear cut this area whenever they uh, were coming up on the flat right now, whenever they filled the reservoir. So we're gonna anchor up on this and uh, see if we can't pull any cats off of it. We got some fresh gizzard shad I just netted. Tons of them, so we ain't bait poor. But I'm gonna do another couple passes here just to see if we can pick up some more fish. Look, we've got bait in the area on top of this tree right here. And that's the kind of stuff we're looking for. And then right here we have some pretty clear returns that are catfish, more than likely. And that's uh, what they look like on down imaging and that's what they look like on 2D. And so they're separated, so we know definitely three fish and uh we're gonna see what happens all right guys so now we're gonna anchor up on those brush piles and stumps and trees and whatnot that we marked next to this bluff that comes up on a flat into the creek mouth and we're about 50 feet from that one and about 100 or so from these so we'll do a couple short casts a couple long bomb casts and that drops off into a hole over there and we're kind of going to be able to fish uh, all different kinds of depths here, which is good. And uh, hopefully, my man here can catch his first flathead. That'd be sick. Yeah, I need one. I need one over 40. Or a big blue. So, yep, that's what we're going to do. And then bait-wise, that is the dullest knife ever. Uh, bait-wise, we're going to be, that's a little bit better. We're going to be using fresh, big gizzard shad. And we got a few small ones, but most of them are pretty big. They're all, you know, eight inch plus ones. And we caught a ton of them. So we are gonna get a bunch of fresh big baits out there. Nice scent trail down to those fish. And then hopefully catch one or two. We're gonna do several double baits just like we do a big skip jack and then on other ones we'll do you know big head bait like that and a body chunk like that and then I do one big giant guy for a double bait that looks yummy and then we're gonna cut the rest of these guys up. Probably have you hand me baits if you don't care. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get to chucking. And again, we got some timber right here, 50 feet or so out in this area, and then back behind another 100 feet. So we're gonna put some right in front of that and then on the other end. And then if we hook one on the back end one, we just gotta pray that they don't get in the timber right here. So we'll see how that goes. You can just give me a head or a chunk or something. The big giant piece, that's a that's gonna be a double bait. The big giant ones. Yeah, big old head piece. Fresh gizzard shad. And then hook wise, I'm using some Mag Catters uh, 10 XD hooks. They're pretty sick. You can find a link to the website below. Look, I mean, that bait's still twitching. Look at that. <laughs> still breathing. He's still swimming. Well, hopefully he'd be swimming in a big old catfish's mouth here in a second. That's what we want. Anyway. All right, so that one I threw, I don't know, 50 feet out. That's gonna be about eight feet in front of those timber piles. And we're gonna have to run pretty tight drag here because, you know, we don't get wanna get taken into it, essentially. But uh, yeah, that is what we're doing. 
And rod wise and reel wise, we're using Hellcats by Big Cat Fever and uh, Akuma Komodos. We got 65 pound braid to 100 pound test leader line. If you want to check out these rods, there are links in the description below with discount codes you can use that saves you some money and helps the channel. On this one, we're going to bomb it. I'm going to send that one way over there. Let him sink down to the bottom. Pretty deep. Pretty deep. He's still going. All right, we've got touchdown there. And now on this guy right here, we're going to throw a double bait. Let's see one of them big old suckers. That guy's still twitching too. I mean, this is just the primo's bait you could ask for right here. Now, if these fish are active, we may get a fish on before we even get all the baits out. Or a bite. We'll see. There was some bait down there in, on the graph, and it was kind of dispersed. It wasn't all sitting in a pile. Um, which usually means that they're getting chased and whatnot. Ooh. That one I did a little bit shorter just to be in front of the other timber pile. And then we'll just keep doing that on all these baits all the way around. And just hope we don't get snagged up. But if we do, it is a part of the game. You gotta pay your dues to the river gods. We're gonna throw a snack size bait out, a little shad nugget. Because I've caught giant fish. I caught a 75 on a piece that big one winter. And we're going to put it on a spinning rod. So if you hook a giant on this one, you're going to have a blast. Possibly. Man, that sun is blowing my eyes up. Wish we had some more cloud cover. Holy crap. He's on the bottom. Reel down on him. Reel down on him. All right, put it down. Put it down. Dang it. That one behind you is getting the crap back out of it. Look. That looks like a turtle. I cranked the heater on and I'm covered in shad slime and water and it's all evaporating. Tyrell was like, what the heck's going on? I thought you were burning up. I thought you were on fire. Not yet. It's not even that hot. It's just evaporating all that water and it's just shed steam. Probably smells great, but my nose is clogged so I can't smell anything. Five hundred dollar bill, I thought, you know. I was like, no way, five hundred and they're already catching on fire. <laughs> <laughs> my Walmart specials keep me warm. I'm gonna reel down that. That's on. Big fish on, big fish on. You got him? Yes, sir. Bowed up. That's gonna be a pretty decent fish. What's he feel like? One more, one more pull on him. Uh, he felt big at first. Maybe coming at you. There he goes, there he goes. Yeah, I'm loosen that drag just a little bit. I had that stuff locked down. Let's uh, let's try to start working them off to the left. Go, yeah, go up underneath it. I'm gonna here. I'll do it for you. You just real tight. Yeah. And then come come up underneath it. Real 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 tight. Real tight. Real tight. Real down to them. Down to them, and just keep it down. Come up underneath. There you go. All right. Same thing. Reel down, reel, reel, reel. Okay. And then fight them right there. We'll do one more. Go ahead and step down the floorboard. I bet he's 20. Well, I'll say 17. Okay, go up underneath. There you go. That's how you do it. I was going to say 17. No, he's over there. 
Look at the big head shakes. You just now got caught up. You're about to find out how big he is right here at the boat. He's coming up. Those are big head shakes though. Has he gotten squirrely yet? I think it might be a decent fish. All right, you got this heater behind you, behind your back left, so fight a little bit forward. I'm gonna get this net. See him yet? No. Okay. Maybe, yeah, you may have been right. What, what would you say? 17 the first time? I said 17 the first time. Okay, he may be at 17. We'll net him anyways. That spinner fools me sometimes. That's a good first fish to start with, my man. Yeah, hasn't been too long either, so. Yeah, he ate that little chunk. There you go. Numero uno. That's a good first start. High five. All right, I'm thinking 16, 17, like you said. Put it like on, it, on his pad next to his teeth or where your thumb's at. How did you pull it like this? Let's take it up in there. Got it. All right. You got it. 15, 16, somewhere in there. Not bad. You get 17. Solid 16 pounder to start the evening off with. Go ahead and dump them back. So to release them on those things, you see you see uh, that thing right there? This whole thing, when you grab it with your thumbs and pull up, it'll undo the clasp. So just, those grips are like 300 bucks. So just hold on to them, don't let them go in the water. Okay, I'll go in for them, but that's the case. See ya. That was pretty cool. Sam, for 300 bucks, I, I jump in this, in, in this 20 degree water for you. <laughs> Let's see if another one wants an old Mick and Nugget. That guy did. I thought he was going to be about 30 the way he was pulling. When Good. I first got him, I was kind of like, hmm. I got excited because he fell off. You know, I couldn't really move him at first. It was first like four seconds. Then, then he started coming. He started coming towards me. A couple, I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and guess 17. You were right on the money. I was, that was good. I mean, that, hey, that 13 to 17 pay, hey, pound range, that's me. Oh, that's me right there. That's what I know. I watch a lot of you guys out there averaging 40, 50. You know, I'm, I'm averaging 12, 15. I, I get that 17 pounder, I get, I get a little excited. So <laughs> I know that range. Okay, we got a chunk back down there. A little nugget. Let's see if we can't get another one. Get it? That one's like in a, a janky area. Got to do a little climbing. He's on there, I think. Yeah, he's on there. He's a little dink up there in the shallow water, though. Come here, buddy. Here, I'm doing you a favor by taking this one. <laughs> Come here. I told you, if it's a small takedown, you got him. I got him. I mean, he is solid, like seven pounds, probably. Flathead eats him, bringing him in. Come on, buddy. He was up there in that shallow water, though. <laughs> He's gonna be a boat flipper. Oh yeah, seven pounder. Perfect eating size on the double gonad sinker. We just gonna flip him in. You know, on up here, buddy. Yes, sir. That's a nice little blue cat. It's not bad, though. Not bad. That hook got. 
God, I just stabbed myself with that hook. Oh, that hurt so bad. Oh, that hurt. Ouch. Yeah, oh yeah. See ya, dude. Yeah, don't stab yourself in the hand with a mag cutter hook. That sun is a going down. Beautiful though. Just need one of them rods to fold over in the background there. Oh, we got a bite up on the top one. Let's see if he'll cooperate for that. That one right there. Leave it going for a second. That's on a double bait. That bait and that bait right there. Well, no, those two are doubles right there. You're still up. You can go again. It's fine. I don't care. I'm going to do my camera stuff. Little takedown, your, your turn. Little yes. Take down, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> no, you mean the other way around. Little takedown, your turn. Big <laughs> takedown, my turn. <laughs> Not a bad view from the office. Old spinner there. Getting dinked on. That dude's still working over there. Let's just see if it'll go down. That's a nice slow takedown. Looks like he's carrying it off to the left. Let's really slowly walk up there, okay? Try not to burn ourselves. We just don't want to change the amount of pressure that's on the tip of that. Can't tell if he's swimming with it or not. I kind of think he is. He's still dinking on it. Uh, yeah, he's still there. Okay, I'll go up there and just slowly reel. Slowly reel? And then I'm going to tell you when to stick them. Yeah, get up there and just slowly reel. Like leave it in the holder. Put your hand top right up the top. Don't don't be rotating that. Don't be messing with the tip. Well, that's not me. That's him. Oh, that is? Yeah, it's him. All right, then put your right hand up on the front of the rod. Yep, get some. Okay, now slowly reel. Slow. All right, go fast now. Go fast. You got him. You got him. Get him out of there. There you go. That's how you do a reel down. There you go. There you go. We got him, baby. Yes, sir. How does he feel? How does he feel? Not, not big. Not big? They're biting a little lethargic. I thought I heard some other rod getting hit. Huh, I don't know. Maybe the same as last time, maybe? Teenager? Teenager. Old oh, teenager. They're eating those little pieces. We ain't had a big slam of jamma yet. They're still trying to like recover from this big cold front that came through yesterday. And the day before that you guys watched in the last video, if you watched it. I'm still trying to recover. Yeah. And like, man, my hand is killing me from when I just stabbed it with that 10 knot hook. My heater bill's trying to recover. Yeah. That last call from it. Little feller. Little feller. I'll let you pull him in. Here, I'll hold your rod, just grab it later and pull him in.
There you go. Decent little cat. Decent little cat. Watch out for that heater behind it. Alrighty. That's not a bad little fish. Good reel down. Hold him up there, let's see him. Alright, even though he's like four pounds would do this right here. It's a monster! <laughs> Alright, chuck him back. See ya. Well, the spinner went down again. That flew out of the rod holder or something. I don't know what happened. It did fly out of the rod holder, but it wasn't all the way in there. Gosh. We hooked up again. Those nuggies. Nuggies. They eating the nuggies. I'm about to reel something in and throw a nuggie out. We're about to go to old nuggies. 20 piece McNugget. <laughs> 20 piece Chad nugget. Chad. Chad. It's so hard to tell on like a medium action spending rod. We were using that thing to catch paddlefish on last spring. Or this spring. He might be in this line. Is he? Yeah, he is. Go over the top of it. Well, yeah, go over the top. Uh, he's just in it. It is what it is now. Here, come up underneath. Oh, I got to put this on. He's just in it. Whatever. Go big at first. Bring no. him left. Bring him left. Not as big anymore. He's out of it now. No, he's not. No, nah, he's in it. A little bit better. A little bit better. Very nice. The nuggies. The nuggies. I'm throwing out another nuggie. Here, I grabbed the. I got the rod. It might have got off that line. I think it got off. Yeah, I think yeah. it did, but I'm gonna reel it in anyways and throw out another nuggie. Oh, he's barely on. He's barely in. Got him. Whisker hook. Yeah. Whisker hook. Just flip him in. He'd be fine. Are you gonna get him? He just grabbed him. Yeah. Tyrell don't care. He's like, get on in here. Yeah. Hey, when you don't catch a lot of fish, you do, hey, you do whatever it takes <laughs> to land one. That's number three. Number three. Wait, how many of you caught three? That's number four. That's the fourth fish of the night. It takes me about seven, eight months to get four fish, so. Hold them up there. Let's see him. Monster, monster. It's a monster. It's about 50 pounds. No, nah, he's about 15. Something like that. 13. You got a fat belly. Troll him back. This time we can try to save your life this time. See you, buddy. Bloop. More nuggies. More nuggies. Well, we may have one on the old spinner over here. Here, go ahead. Follow me up there. Here we go, guys. We got to leave the cold for a little warm. <laughs> this spinner is just a lucky rod tonight. We've been out here for like an hour and a half. And this is the fourth or fifth fish we've caught on it. We got 12 other rods out, and I've only caught one other fish on all the other rods. He's a little dinky feller, but heck, it's another fish. This is an eater right here. If I have ever bought one, this is an eater. Buddy. Either that or he decided to come at us and he's gonna pull me, but I'm thinking he's just neither. Come on, bud. Come on. Yeah, he's just neither. Either side of the Flip him in the boat. Nugget. 
catfish nugget. I have to start getting up earlier so we're not out here after dark. But there we go. There's number five or six. See it.